still the video. Here we are with Dan's MX350, stripping it down because um, apparently these solutions are a bowling kit. So I'm hoping that that is the way. But it's not often I get to work with brand new bikes. And man, stripping this down is a piece of piss compared to the shit that I normally have to deal with. Now I'm hoping after a few little cuts with a grinder here and there, we're gonna get in the 60 volt servo and battery. Um, one five wants it tonight. We're running stock to get some stats for everybody on what a stock battery can do with the um, FW11 motor in there from Sotion and the far driver, which is the Sotion brand one just with their stickers on as well. But we will hopefully by tomorrow or by tonight have this little thing ripping at around about 7,000 watts, which should be pretty hectic for a stop one of these because I've just done 100 kilometers an hour in my street on a similar tune but on 72 volts that I did have to break. So we'll see. And then this is how we do it in Australia. We don't fucking buy shit, we make our own parts to make everything work. So look out, here we come. We're getting into it. Fucking hey. Gonna be Australia's fastest razor, MX650. Simple as that. This is gonna fucking rip because we made it. We're gonna make it rip. So we're the best. Let's face it. That's why motherfuckers, we're the best. Stuck my fucking balls. Well, let's face it, it's mostly you. I just do little nice things. I'm learning off you. I'm the apprentice in this situation. Yeah. Dingo's the master. I am not taking credit for this. I'll take credit for tying, but I'm not going to take credit for fucking building it. Like this, this is like from start to finish, you've showed me the absolute way from controllers, motors. I'm so glad I didn't go Electro and Co. Because what we just experienced on a KDM 65 beat the 14 kilowatt. Oh, KDM 50, man. Oh, sorry, KDM 50. Oh, sorry, 50. Let me just rephrase that to a better standard. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I lifted and raised it and everything and made it a bit more. But so a full-size 50cc dirt bike ran faster than an EC4P 14 kilowatt. Feel free to fact check it, guys. I'll show you the video. That one's having great as well. That one's in the street. We're not on a straight run. Oh yeah, we had no brakes either, so the risk of death was a little bit higher. But as you can tell, standard razor, I believe the 12 amp hour batteries. Yeah, 12 volt, 12 amp hour. Absolute dog shit. Heavy as well for what they are. That's a big controller in comparison to what they put in the other scooters. All right, so for anyone looking at upgrading a Razor and just doing a lithium upgrade, we we'll give you a little tip. You can go for an Exomi battery, a Segway battery. You know, if you can find a dead scooter with a good battery, that's 30 amps of power straight there. In a lithium battery on one of these, for a small little upgrade, you don't have to go out and spend a huge amount of money. The Razor controller alone will do everything you need. So what we're doing here guys is getting rid of the room so we can fit a steering battery. Goodbye little fucker. Exactly.
Bye bye. She's hot. Wallop. Tacos. Battles. And then you stick the battery in like this. And you're like, does it fit? Where am I going to make it fit? Right. Oh, look at that little beauty. Oh, look at that. Like stuck that in there like that nicely against the top and we'll make that come round and kick back in and voila you don't have to go buy fucking random batteries from random yeah. companies you can just buy Sauron batteries Sauron batteries but you can also buy all of the upgraded Sauron batteries that are already available and people are always selling them second hand which means you can bang out in there 72 volts 48 batteries and the way they build them these days, all 32 AH of the high power ones, which means you can bang some massive kilowatts through that just off the Ceylon batteries. None of the custom shit, none of the um, shitty branded ones, not that I'm always the shit branded ones because they're fairly good, but you can put out the decent Ceylon ones that put out decent high power, especially um, EBNX now have got some cracking high power batteries that are coming out. And the sag on them compared to the Molly Cell sag is actually less. So um, yeah, look out for the new EVMX batteries coming out because they're going to be hectic as well. Just do that there. Bang that on the handle. So you're welding straight in. That's going to give you a twin underneath to hold in um, extra strength and battery and then what we'll do is we'll angle it in to the top like a standard bike you get with the double dropouts down there um, and then that'll be it you'll have a twin which will hold the battery in nicely and it's going to make your frame way more stronger and it'll look fucking mint we want it on 40 which is there, on 40, there, ground your line in, and work, now, that is where they go, so for you on 40, I need them to end. Oh. And what, it's 47 minutes? Is that all it's been so far? Yeah, 47 minutes since you started. <laughs> I've got the KDM 50 running with a Solshin, and now it's the Razor's turn. Alright guys, so we've got a comparison test between the standard Razor uh, MX500, MX650 motor, the Kunray motor, and the Solshin motor. Both of these, all of these are 1020 motors, but let's just see what the weight of it is. Alright, standard motor, 4.1 kilos. The Kunray motor, 4.4, 4.1. So very much the same as that. As a standard MX 650 motor. Alright, now the Solchen. 5.6 kilos. Massive difference. See why these boys are the babies. Hooked up to that bad boy, you're going good. Buy that kind of colored skill, anything. Nobody puts the effort in to make that what it is. Like, nobody knows how I just scrolled that out with me for that many years. I was like, 
No measure babies. I fucking love it. Perfect. You got your ground measurements, where are they? That's all you worked off. Yeah, and the other friend, we made came in the other day, and he was like, what did you do with your uh, chassis frame off? And if you look on the ground there, that is the measurements and the design for the gas top mount. And if you look somewhere else on the floor, yeah, yeah, is the frame for my new custom design one that I'm going to make that will fit a social motor FW11 and the FW01 frame and I will be selling them with the motors in them mounted ready for anybody else to bang in any kind of fork they want and any kind of swing on they want and I will also offer a swing on in there with everything, so all they need to give is put on their favourite forks and what a very cool, massive power because it will be like that so you can fit in fucking huge batteries of any size and any description for wide and then uh, yeah no hold forward all with the motors mid mounted up the string arm and it's like a real bike, real power, real fucking shit That's fucking me. So, I'm not doing it. Ow, there's a dumb ass like me, might have to pull that shit off. First shot, no measurements, I blow it and water. You've got all the clearance in the world. Then, if we come over, we grab our frame, just get a bit of a fairing fit. How mint is that? What's going to be perfect? Lots of extra space I've created. The four drivers with a fit net in there, and I'm going to make a little bracket that comes off the mountain. So it's none of this shit that people do with the plastic stuff. It's going to be mounted steel wide, solidly, in the right end of the controller. So nobody's a fucking bug. That looks fucking mint. <clears throat> There you go, Americans. The British Aussie does it better. No pissy 25 amp hour batteries here, boys. 32 amp hour, 72 volt serum batteries all the way. Can't fucking do better than that. You stoked? I'm pretty impressed that after it took me an hour. So yeah, fucking sweet. Well, we're not cleaning it up. 